So I'm going to tell you all about rebounding and its benefits. We call this the miracle exercise. In fact, there's arguably a quote where a NASA researcher stated that rebounding is arguably, he didn't say arguably, it's an arguable statement, but he said that this is the greatest exercise ever invented by mankind. But why? You know, why is it, right? Why just a little mini trampoline when you're bouncing up and down on it like this, why are the health benefits so extraordinary? Let me tell you the story in a couple of seconds. First of all, NASA invented these little things called mini trampolines. We've had little, different people that have said they've invented it. But when you kind of scratch in the research, you find that NASA had a huge influence on the adoption and the science behind mini trampolines. They have a huge scientific research oriented uh, leaning in when it comes to rebounding. So mini trampolines, rebounding. Now what is this thing when you're bopping up and down and why is it so beneficial? Well, here's the story behind it. When astronauts go up into space, they float in zero gravity for extended periods of time. When you float in zero gravity for extended periods of time, notice what occurs when they come back. They have to be carried out of the capsule and the reason for that is they suffer from three things. Number one is they suffer from muscle atrophy. Obviously, lack of gravity, lack of gravitational pull, right? Just remember, gravity has been our friend. Gravity was as, as something that pulls you to grow you and then pulls you as you age back into the ground, right? So when you're crawling, gravity's pulling you down. And as you're resisting that gravity, you are building up muscles, you are building up bones and you are moving your lymphatic system throughout the course. So when you're a baby crawling, when you're struggling to walk and, you, and you're stumbling, that is gravity pulling at you, pulling at you, and you're resisting that gravity builds the structure that you have from a human body perspective, right? So that's your muscles, that's your bones. So when you go and sit in zero gravity for an extended period of time, well, you lose muscles. What we've also discovered is when you're in zero gravity, you lose skeletal tissue, skeletal density, skeletal mass. So there's a, there's a very negative impact on your skeletal tissue. So for, that's why they're being carried out of those, those little capsules when they land back on Earth. Why? It's not just muscle, muscle atrophy, it's also skeletal strength and risks associated with breakage. Now, the big one that not a lot of people know about is their lymphatic issues, right? Because your lymph in your body, if you could do some research, you'll discover it is too to two and a half times larger in liquid volume than your blood. Your blood has a heart to pump it. Your lymph has nothing to pump it. Your lymph requires your movement, but your movement in relation to gravity. So gravity and its pull on your body moves your lymphatic plasma around your body. So that's what they say sitting is the new smoking. The backstory to that is that when you are sitting, your lymphatic liquid, your lymphatic plasma in your body is stagnant. And when that's stagnant and it's not moving, it means all the trash that you expose your body to, through your deodorants, to the foods that you eat, parabens, etc., they don't land up in your blood, they land up in your lymph. And your lymph's connected to your renal system, etc., and that is where everything is excreted from. So your lymphatic system is your trash can of your body. Very few people know about their lymph. When you talk about your lymph, they go, what is that? But as soon as you go to your oncologist and they say, you've got that lump in your breast, or you've got that tumor here, you quickly start understanding the importance and validity of your lymphatic system. It is crucially, crucial to your body. Now, the lymph, unfortunately, like I said, does not have a heart, like the blood, to move it around. It requires your movement. And what we've discovered over many years is that the up and down movement of being on a mini trampoline, so this just this bouncing, right? When I'm doing this, I'm exposing my body to 1.5 to 2 times the force of gravity. And you bounce like this, for two to five minutes per day, every 90 minutes, it's extraordinary the health benefits. It's been scientifically and medically proven what happens to your body when you expose it to two times the force of gravity without any risk of injury. So when you're on a rebound and you're going up and down, multiple forces of gravity, you know what's happening right now? I am actuating the ducts of my lymphatic system. We've had testimonies of people that we clear, they go to the loo, they we clear all morning, they do this for five to 10 minutes, just like this. They get off, they we again, and they wee yellow, or it's discolored. Why? Because that's the drainage of your lymphatic system. When you're a cancer patient, many oncologists will recommend that when you're on chemo, et cetera, to get on one of these. And that's why we've got the Cancer Association of South Africa's scientifically endorsed stamp of approval. Why? 
because this has proven to be cancer preventative, but also when you got cancer. It's a great platform to get on. Why? Because when you're on a rebound, you're bouncing up and down. There's no pain. There's no damage to your soft tissue, right? The impact absorbs. That's your lymphatic system and your lymphatic drainage. So now you understand why astronauts do this, right? Because when they come out of a zero gravity environment, they need to be on these things to drain their lymph because they have lymphatic issues when they come back. Second thing is, what's medically been proven and scientifically proven is that when you do this, your body does the exact opposite of what it does in zero gravity. When you expose it to multiple forces of gravity, your, bu your body builds bones. So when less gravity, right, less bone building, all the way to zero gravity, no bone building. In fact, bone degradation. You get on a rebounder, and guess what? You are building bones. So folks with osteopenia, folks with osteoporosis, bone issues, et cetera, there, a lot of the medical practitioners out there are now recommending that people get on a rebounder. And this is not rebounding, guys. This is bouncing simply from a health perspective. There's a report that states that when you are on a rebounder and you are moving, you are employing 300 more muscles on average than when you're on the floor doing the exact same movement. Why? Take a look at me. When I'm on this rebounder, my proprioception is challenged. My head is tilting forward and backwards. If there are so many more muscles engaged and twitched, so many more muscle fibers twitched when you are bouncing on a rebounder versus being on the floor. You're falling through the floor. That falling through the floor is multiple forces of gravity, no pain because there's no injury, right? Because the mat's absorbing that. It, it's actuating the ducts of your lymphatic system when you're falling through the floor that way. So that gravitational exposure, that pull, that pull, that pull results in these benefits. So from a muscle atrophy perspective, you're engaging a lot more muscles than when you're on a floor-based form of movement. So if you do something on the floor over and over like I'm doing right now for an extended period of time, you hurt your soft tissue. But on a rebounder, you don't. When you do rebounding, there's no rest days. Don't have to do any rest days. But this is not rebounding. This is what we call lymphocyzing. This is working on your lymph. This is working on your bones. This is engaging your muscles. This is breaking sedentary living. And when you get off this platform after doing this, you'll know what I mean. You feel different. That's why we see a lot of people when they adopt rebounding and they start bouncing up and down. They actually cannot believe the, the dopamine effect. And what they can't believe too, athletes, is when they get on this platform and they, they bounce up and down like I'm doing right now, they can't believe what it does to from a heart rate perspective. Why? Because there's just so many more muscles engaged. If you're an elderly person, a senior, great for your balance. There's so many muscles engaged throughout your body when you're on a rebounder, all the way to the muscles around your cochlea. So this is a great way. If you've got a support bar or a T-bar, you can hold on to it. And this movement is extraordinary. So NASA proven, NASA adopted, uh, professional athletes adopt this. And two minutes on year is arguably equal to six to nine minutes on a floor-based exercise. So this is something that we say all the time. Movement is medicine, not just any movement. Do this movement. Rebounding movement is medicine because it's your lymph, it's your bone health, it's your muscle engagement, and uh, it's the practicality of it. I love it. You can do it in your pajamas. You can do it in any clothes. Now, key, key thing you know, we always try to explain to people is not just the NASA stats, right? So astronauts do this. A lot of the guys find out about it, and they're wowed by it. But this is not rebounding, right? This is, like I said, lymph, bone, muscle engagement. Rebounding is when you're not elevating your head up and down. You're not bopping up and down. So if I'm doing this, notice, it's fun, it's nice. You can do this for five minutes or so. Lovely, right? Very healthy, doing it multiple times of the day. Um, mood booster, etc. But if I'm on the rebound and I'm working out, I'm not looking for elevation. So me bouncing up and down, notice my head goes up and down, but when I run, notice how quiet my head is. When I'm going side to side, notice how quiet my head is. Right? My head stays quiet the entire time. So I'm not looking for elevation, I'm looking to pump into the mat. When you do that, you'll feel it in your legs like I am right now. <laughs> but miracle exercise, anyone can do it. Soft on your body, if you're prone to injury, soft tissue damage like I am, You've got problems with your knees like I do. I've got staples holding my ligaments together in my knees. You've run for many years. It hurts you. CrossFit injured you. Whatever else you're doing, get on a rebounder. It's extraordinary. It is truly the miracle form of movement.